Okay, girls, this is Linda, just a crochet sister. I'm still in the hospital. Ten days now. Oh, I have a lot of pain right now in my stomach. I had such a lovely nurse. She just came in and changed the bandage on my back. It's, it's, so, it's really long. And it's coming loose at the bottom, and I'm afraid I don't want to get an infection. You know me, if it can go wrong, it's going to go wrong. <laughs> Madonna just texted me, said she'd been thinking about me, bless her heart. And I was on the, in the bathroom trying to go. My stomach has been so, oh the food here, if I see another tuna fish sandwich or a grilled cheese sandwich, I think I'll shoot somebody. <laughs> Can't take it. But right now, my stomach's in agony. I mean, really bad. And they've got these rules on the board on the, over there that say, I have, can't, no bending, lifting, or stretching. BLT, they call it. BLT. No bending, lifting, and scratching. And I got the oxygen tank over there. And a brace. And I don't know what all you can see in this room I'm showing. But a walker I have to use. A big old black thing that looks like bat wings over there is a, is a brace. I have to put around my back. And so I can't sit up. As soon as I sit up, it has to go around my back. And if I try to sit up in this bed, an alarm goes off and they start yelling at me because I can't get up by myself. It was a pretty big surgery. Now I can't couldn't go home. I was supposed to go home today, but I haven't passed all my param parameters yet. They took a, uh, they put a 14, I mean, look, look at this bruise. Can you see it? A 14 something or other needle because they had to put some fluid in my lungs to CAT scan them. And then they did x-ray in my lungs. My lungs are fine. But I have congestive heart failure. That's why my oxygen is so bad. They couldn't believe, and my blood pressure. They were in shock. But I, me taking it home, and I think I showed you once, went up to like 300, over 175. They couldn't believe it. They, they thought they they took it twice. It, it was it was only like 280 over 175. Oh, it's not blood pressure. But I was in pain. When you're in pain, your blood pressure goes up. So when I get out of here, I get to see the doctor again. Oh, God, I wish I could get something done with my stomach. If I could fix it, it would be a miracle. Oh. It hurts so bad. I haven't been watching any videos. I haven't. I just can't. Uh, I'm so friggin' weak. I can barely move. And I can't BLT, then, what is it? I can't even see it for here. Lift or twist. Try not bending, lifting, or twisting, laying in a bed all day. It's very hard, very hard. 
And poor Andy, he's coming back and forth every day. And I told him, and you know, he's deaf as a doornail. So I told him to go out and buy me a noisemaker today. So when we're home and I need you, it, I can call you, you'll hear me. So he got this thing, I guess it's for people who are you know, going to their car. But when you push the button, boy, it makes a sound. And he'll call, and he'll hear that, he said. <laughs> so we're thinking about getting one of those for Lori, and because she works at nights, and I think it'd be safer for her to have something like that. I've got a headache. But I wanted to let you all know I care about you. I know I've seen messages when I've had a chance to look at my phone, but I just I don't have the energy or the strength to please forgive me. And thanks for sticking with me. And thanks for your prayers. They work. Just pray for this belly ache to go away. <laughs> Oh God! See, I'm bending. I'm I'm going up in a fetal position. I'm not supposed to do that. I gotta pull myself over. Ah! Oh, can't go in a fetal position. I thought I was gonna go home today. Oh, damn it! I'm tired of this place. Anyway, I love you all. Keep crocheting. And think of me once in a while. I'll be back on soon. And I'm going to give you a little kiss and push my little button. Haven't heard that said in a few days, have you? <laughs> I'm going to push my little button.